You'll start this warm up with an elevated plank. Find an elevated surface like a couch, a chair, um, or a lower um, countertop. You'll place your hands down, allow your feet to go back, and try to move your body so that your body is in one straight line from shoulders through your hips through your heels. You'll simply hold this position as long as you can, trying to squeeze your glutes a little bit, so actually tightening your butt cheeks and feeling like you're tightening in your lower abs. Hold as long as you can, and then as you finish, allow your feet to come up underneath you again. You'll go into the cat-cow exercise. So from here, you'll lift the forehead and the tailbone, feeling like you're dropping your chest and your belly button, and then round through the upper back and all the way to the lower back. So you'll go through this five times, excuse me, ten times in each direction, and then from there, you'll move into the bird dog. So we'll do this standing, keeping your back flat. You'll reach that arm up as far as you can out in front of you, and then lift your opposite leg up as well, holding for five seconds, and then place that hand down and the leg down. Reach out with the other arm, reach back with the leg, hold for five seconds, and you'll repeat this five times total on each side. From there, you'll move into the short foot exercise, where we're actually contracting the muscles in the foot. So you'll try to, you can either do this on carpet or on something squishy, that might help. You'll spread out your toes on whatever you have. Try to feel like you're pushing your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel down into your surface. And then from there, we're actually pulling the arch of the foot up and away from the floor. So you'll get a little rotation in the ankle, but actually feel like you're lifting in the arch of the foot, pushing those toes down, trying to bring your toes toward your ankle. You'll do like a two to three second hold and do this 10 times on one foot and then 10 on the other. From there, try to set yourself up the same way with the short foot exercise. Slightly bend your knee and then stand on one leg as long as possible up to a minute. If you fall almost immediately, give yourself a couple more tries and then do the same thing on the opposite side. Once you finish, go into your regular workout.